Hey guys, it's Michael here. I'm just here to do another review. And um, today I'm having a look at some um, some lures that I've been finding hard to find on the internet about. And um, they're called uh, uh, the brand name Halco, if that's how you pronounce it. And it's these uh, little guys here. And um, mainly used for like trout and brim and small species of fish. And uh, I found that I couldn't find much on them, really anywhere. Um, except for on their website, but they just just tell you what they do, just a nice tight shimmy action. But not many people do many reviews on these these cheaper lures that I've come by. And I'm here in Australia, we've got a store called Anaconda. And anyway, um, they sell these, and they're quite cheap. Um, you can get them not on sale for $10.99, $11, which I think is quite cheap. And they're on sale now um, for, I think it's $8.99 or something like that. Oh, eight dollars fifty if you're a club member but anyway uh, I had a uh, had a go with this lure last night and um, I just I'll just bring a picture up um, there I am uh, with a nice trout that was second cast and I was really quite happy <laughs> about that because um, I was meant to go on a fishing trip didn't happen Circum circumstances just couldn't go so anyway, went out for just only 15 minutes. Had a quick little, there's a little river down here that I go to. And uh, flipped this guy out, second cast, and smashed, uh, this, this trout just came up and smashed it. Um, not to say that anything could have got that trout that day, but I have to say it was, um, it was a lot of fun. So anyway, um, just to, on the lure, they don't look like your kind of stock standard minnow for trout. They're a little bit different, they've got this kind of, fat tummy through here and uh, they're quite quite straight and and the one thing that this lure has over quite a lot of the other ones that I see for trout lures is it's got a huge bib on it but that still only dives to one meter which I'm um, is, is really good because uh, for trout fishing you, you don't for where I fish at least uh, deep uh, you don't have very deep lakes here in Tasmania um, they're really only about one meter to one and a half meters most of the western lakes where I fish and most streams That the action that it gives it says it's a tight shimmy action. I think that is an understatement uh, This thing has a huge action for its size and I tell you it was rattling off the uh, the the eyes on my on my rod and I was using only four pound mono and so mono really absorbs a lot of the um, action and um, and vibration, sorry, through the water. And um, I tell you, um, I was surprised how much action this gave out. I was ripping this thing really hard through the water, expecting it to tumble over because it's a cheap lure, you would think. But um, I'm not saying it's a it's a cheap lure made now. It's just a, it's cheap. The, the price is cheap for a lure like like this. But I couldn't couldn't make it tumble. I was ripping it through the water quite hard. And that's a thumbs up there. The only one thing that I can see that I don't like about the lure is, and I have to say it have to be very hard, as you can see here, they they could just they just hook up. And that's a bit unfortunate because that's one thing there that I hate. That there. You've done a, a big cast and it hasn't happened yet, but you've had a fish hit your lure, hit my lure, it hasn't hooked up because of that. That's one thing that I don't like about it, but that's about it. I think it's a fantastic lure for its price. It's got good weight, it's about three and a half grams, I think. It comes in the floating model, uh, two and a half grams, and I think it's a definitely a very good buy. So I would definitely recommend this lure uh, for anyone who's starting out in trout fishing. Um, quite a cheap minnow lure, give it a go. I'll just um, put a, a little bit of footage here, just in my bathtub right now, just uh, so you can see the action of it but um definitely guys i recommend this one go for it catch you guys see you next time